So how does music production and composition work? Um, it's a pretty broad question. Um, so the best way would just to kind of think about what part of the production and composition process you're talking about. Um, music production generally happens after the composition is either already done or you know, you might be composing what you're working on in the production phase at the same time. You know, it's kind of um, however you want to approach it. Um, some people approach composition in a really formal way. So, um, you know, if you know music theory, then you're approaching it in a way where you're looking at a staff and you're composing and, and you're, you know, creating your composition within a staff. Um, myself, I work... Um, based off of mainly ear. So um, I might go to a piano and start playing some chords and be like, oh, that sounds cool. You know, let me add something more to that. Let me maybe add some drums, let maybe add guitar, or whatever you want to do. Um, the music production side of it is going to be kind of like the recording um, and processing and editing. Um, so, you know, say you have a piano idea that you want to use, you might open up what is called a DAW, which um, in my case, I use uh, a program called Logic Pro X. Um, there's other softwares. There's Ableton. Um, there's Pro Tools, which is mainly for just recording like audio. Um, there are a few people that that use it for like MIDI, which is a form of um, creating music um, electronically. Um, we can get into that if you want. Um, so I use Logic. Um, so basically, I would have the piano part that I want to record, and I would record it within Logic. Um, and from there, then I can start the mixing process, which um, would be, you know, EQing and compression, um, just kind of affecting the dynamic of your recordings. Um, so basically, you're just going to continue to do that. And, um, you know, I'm skipping some steps, but because it is a broad question, just generally, you're going to keep doing that and you're going to get an arrangement for whatever your song is or whatever kind of composition you're trying to make. Um, and together you'll mix all those tracks and then it'll go into a process called mastering, which is basically getting all those tracks, um, all the individual, so your piano, your guitar, your vocal, whatever it is that you're doing, um, and consolidating them, consolidating the, the sound waves, um, making them feel cohesive. Um, when you're working on a larger form project, so like an album, for example, the mastering process is essentially making sure that each song in the album feels generally the same. Um, and especially if you're going to be selling your music or whatever it is that you're doing, if you're uploading it to SoundCloud or Spotify, um, that process is going to make it so, you know, if you press track one, and then you go to track two, it's not like one is super loud or is really bass heavy or really treble heavy. Um, it's kind of just like this quality assurance process. So that's mastering, um, and that's kind of the final step. But you know, if you have any other questions, um, I'm here. I teach Logic, so um, I'd be happy to show you um, and anyone else that's looking at this. So.